All right, so I got the play field out of the Adams Family, and uh, pretty much I got everything out of the Adams Family. There's a couple things left. Uh, the Transformers left. I'm going to talk about that in just a second. This speaker, I'm not going to reuse this speaker. No offense to the people that make this speaker. It's, it's a good product if you need it, but it doesn't work that well in Adams Family unless you're going to run the pen sound board. Uh, and I'm not going to run the pen sound board, so it's just kind of a big magnetic footprint in the middle of the cabinet that I don't need. I need just a nice clean factory speaker that's going to work very well, or maybe just a slightly upgraded speaker, but the powered aspect of this isn't that desirable to me um, because I find that it muffles the sound more than it enhances it unless you do the complete and total package upgrade, which I don't plan on doing with this. Now, with the transformer itself, I mean, this looks pretty good, but they do have this splice in it, and so it'll have to be cleaned up and reconditioned and refinished, and I'll have to address that. The, this is the, the, the most burnt section on one of these is typically this GI section right here, and it mates with this harness I'm going to show you right here. Here's this harness. So this right here, I'm going to plug it in just to show. So this plugs in right here, and it runs all the way through the cabinet, and it plugs in to the driver board when that's present. And um, these are commonly burned up or hacked up, and this one's no ex exception. You can see right here, I mean, this is all spliced and, and gobbled together. Uh, so what I've done with this is I've built a new harness to do the exact same thing. Um, but just a much neater version of it, and I'll deal with these pins when I do the transformer. But the difference in mine and theirs would be this. Instead of running a single wire out of each pin and then making these little cobbled together loops at the connector at the board, what I do is I run two wires for each pin and then I run those wires, I split them right here so there is no loop. Each pin gets its own individual wire. By doing that, that spreads the heat better and gives better heat dissipation at the driver board and it takes some of the load off of the connector on actually both sides of the equation and also obviously I don't have this hacked up mess to deal with now. I have a nice neat harness that I can put in my nice new cabinet. 